everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I am going to show you most, not all, but um, I guess most of the stuff that I got for my birthday, which was mid-March, like literally mid-March. And um, this way I don't have to show you any of this, any of like the beauty portion of it in my empties video to let you know what came in because it would take way too long. It would. Um, I got a lot of non-beauty stuff, but I did get a lot of beauty stuff as well. So, and again, I can't show it all to you because um, like some of it is wearable, it's in the wash, and I have some stuff that is on this armoire, but it's up top and it won't be in frame for you to even see it, but I will let you know when we get to the point what is up there. So, uh, y'all know <laughs> that I'm a big dork. I know I'm a big dork. I absolutely love Ghostbusters. Like, it is my jam. I've loved it since I was, like, since 84, I think, is when it, the first movie came out. I've been hooked ever since. And, uh, yeah, I got a lot of Ghostbuster stuff. So, I got a new shirt. It's just, you know, a basic black Ghostbuster shirt. It is so cool looking. I have not washed this one yet. I will be. Um, I got a jacket, like, um, like a zip-up hoodie jacket that actually looks like the jumpsuits with the proton packs and the like the name tags and stuff like that yes because I'm a dork <laughs> I know I know you guys are laughing I, I can I can sense your laughter it's okay but I got a bunch of Funko Pops which is some of what is up there that you can't see my whole entire armoire there is covered in Funko Pops a lot of Ghostbuster stuff a lot of Deadpool stuff there's some supernatural I think there's some Beauty and the Beast stuff up there. There's a lot. <laughs> and they're all in the boxes until I get my whole area redone. We're going to be painting in here this year. And I'm going to like redo this whole entire area that you can't even see. And I'm going to have it all on display. If it eventually gets done because my husband works so much. I will show it to you, but we're not there yet. So this is Phoebe. If you've seen Afterlife, you'll know the characters. So that one is Phoebe. Um, let's see. Trevor and Ecto are up there. We've got Podcast. He's so cute. Um, Lucky. I'm trying to remember what else besides Ecto went up there. I don't, I don't remember right off the top of my head. But I got um, some mini puffs because, oh my god, they're so stinking cute. If you haven't seen the movie, you should. Look at the little mini puffs. This one is, um, he's in a little cup of cappuccino. <laughs> this guy's on fire, <laughs> which is hysterical. And this one's got a graham cracker. And if you saw the movie, you saw um, like the mini puffs laying down on a graham cracker with uh, like a chocolate blanket and someone using one of those like little heat guns to melt the chocolate blanket down over the marshmallow. Yeah, it was really cute. And this is probably one of like the most exciting things that I got. And again, I'm a dork. This is going to be going on display. I've got the Ecto, like both of the Ecto license plates, Ecto-1 and 1A from the original movie and then the second movie. Yeah, I'm a dork. Oh, and this. My husband got me um, a gaming chair because I do a lot of stuff sitting in my chair. I have an Etsy shop. I do videos. I do Instagram. I do a lot of editing and different stuff like that. Do a lot of PR reviews. I sit in this chair quite a bit and um, yeah, it's way more comfortable than an old beat up chair I used to have. So very happy to have that. And I think I have a dog hair. It's Dog hair is the gift that keeps on giving, right? All right I don't even know where to start next. All right, I'm going to start with this pile here. I got a bunch of stuff sent to me from Misty. I got um, for my birthday, specifically for my birthday. And I got a bunch of stuff for my kids. A ton of stuff so I'm just gonna like show it all to you and then um, and then, then be done with all this all right so the first thing is this good, good molecules niacinamide brightening toner I think this was actually something that um, just didn't work for her and she sent it to me for that purpose which is cool because I love niacinamide love it love it love it all right she sent me some um, stuff from ColourPop I'm not going to open this one because it actually shattered and I need to repress it. But this is a quad, The Secret Life of Scorpio. She says that's her favorite uh, quad from ColourPop. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to trying that one. And then this is the lip gloss that came with it. 
really like that one as well. I pulled all of like the packaging off so I can actually um, show it to you. This is a palette, I'm not gonna say, but you can read that. <laughs> this is from BH Cosmetics. I think everything else is from BH Cosmetics, but it's all the greens. Trying not to blind you guys. It is super pretty. It is definitely my kind of color scheme. Yeah. All right, let's get into the other palettes. This one is a face palette. It's the Belgian Waffle Palette. This is gorgeous. I did not take any of the plastics off, so. Gonna get a little bit of a glare there. The Mimosa Palette. Definitely my colors right there. This one, I believe this is Lost in Los Angeles. Yes, Lost in Los Angeles. That one's really pretty. It's a nice kind of rainbowy palette. And this one, this is one I kind of had a little bit of FOMO over and I was, um, I, I talked myself out of buying it quite a bunch of times. So I'm very happy to have this. Plastic will come right off of there, but yeah, this is the Avocado Toast palette. Cause you know, I love my greens and um, this one is super, super pretty. Yes, I'm excited, I'm a dork. All right, now let's get into some of this other stuff that I have over here. And um, this is all from my kids because I have a wish list on, um, well, words, on ColourPop because I really, I like their products. They're, uh, they're a good price. They're made in the USA, like everything. Their components, their formulations, everything is done in-house in the US, in California. So I definitely promote things that are made in my home country. Like I think other people should promote things that are made in their home countries. That That's what they should, um, you know, that we don't have to worry about like all of the, um, like the shipping issues that everyone's been having and stuff lately. And um, it just, it supports your own country, which I think is a beautiful thing. But I mean, I like things from other countries. Don't get me wrong, I really do. But um, the way things are right now, I really appreciate stuff that is made in my home country. So that is why I support ColourPop. I know people have their issues with them for whatever reasons, and I totally respect that, I do. But I really like the brand, so I keep a wish list. The husband, and I both went through my wish list when um, they had their big sale not that long ago and picked out a bunch of stuff for the kids to give me for my birthday. So that's that's what all this stuff is. So let's get into it. I'm going to get the one and only non-eye thing out of the way first. This one is a ColourPop Super Shock Highlight Highlighter in You Got Mail. I love the packaging. You guys know I love purples and butterflies. Butterflies and cows are my thing. Oh, I got a bunch of stuffies too. Um, this did not look this pink on the website. That is super pink. Uh, that might be like a blush topper and skip the highlighter. Maybe, I don't know. That is frighteningly pink. So that is the only thing that doesn't go in my eyes. Everything else, yeah, my eyes inventory. You know, y'all just watch that. It's now much worse. Clearly, I just showed you a bunch of stuff. Um, this is the BFF Cream Gel Pencil, and it is in this shade right here. It's kind of like a metallic, which is like a really nice color. Some Super Shocks. This is from the Hocus Pocus. I want to say, I don't, I don't know if this is the one from this year or last year. I kind of, I kind of don't know. Um, anyway, we've got like a purple, orange, and then like a neutral tone here. I did get this palette for Christmas, so um, now I have the Super Shocks to go with it. And I, like the, the lip stuff, I didn't want that. That it didn't go on my wish list because lips, as long as I have something moisturizing on my lips, I'm a happy girl. All right, so here is the palette. So this must have been the older one. This is Witching Hour and a Loose Hair. That is super pretty to me. I love all of those colors. There is not a bad color in this entire palette. I'm kind of excited. The green matches my shirt that I'm wearing right now. Um, I got a bunch of these five pans, New Millennium, Digital Playground. Which one is this? High, high Society, like H-I High. It's all the greens and then more purples. This is the Cashmere Forever. Yes, definitely my colors. 
the Cherry Crush. Of course, this makes me think of Jen. <laughs> it definitely does. I almost wish I had had this before I rolled her into um, my Painter's Pan because I would have picked something out for her for this since I know that she just got this one recently. So this one is super, super pretty. Look at that. Can't wait to play with all of this stuff. And then there are three of the, um, I guess they're like the ice cream cone quads. This one is Sunday Fun Day. Pinks and yellow. Purple is Gimme Sugar. And then Waffle Cone, which this, this speaks to me as far as like me being a Pisces. Th these colors, th these teals, they really speak to me. Those are our, our kind of like our colors for the month. All right, I think that is everything. Everything that I can really show you, like I said, um, I did get some other things. Like my mother-in-law is a knitter. She is from Germany, was born and raised in Germany, and then moved here to the U.S. Um, my my father-in-law was in the military. You know how that goes. She's an avid knitter, and um, a lot of stuff in her Etsy shop, she knits. And she knitted me a gorgeous sweater, which you guys will be seeing in some upcoming videos because I am excited to wear it. So that took a lot of time and effort. So I'm very appreciative of that. And I got taken out to dinner twice in my birthday week. Lots, just lots of really good happy birthday vibes from all of my friends and family. I love you guys and I appreciate you, everyone that um, wished me a happy birthday on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. I know I didn't get a chance to reply to everyone because, you know, life is just insane, especially when, you know, you have a kid that shares your birthday, lots of stuff going on, and then I have another kid that is going to be 10 on the 30th of March. March is a busy month, and then the inventory, you know how that goes. It's been chaos, but, you know, it's happy chaos, so I am good with it. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that came into my collection. Everything that I got for my birthday is a lot. It is a lot. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. So um, I appreciate it. I appreciate, I appreciate all of you guys. And I'm going to wrap this up. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.